everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be looking at what's in the January Munch Pack, so let's get started. I'm actually pretty confused because this arrived in December and I'm actually not convinced that somewhere along the year I've lost a month and my Munch Packs are out a month. That's just how things go on this channel. <laughs> so let's have a look at what's in the box. Ooh! Wrap snacks. Am I supposed to know who these people are on the back? Are they a whole bunch of rappers that do some famous song that I don't know? Probably. Dabbing is a lifestyle. Well, not for me so much. There's sour cream with a dab of ranch. When I dab, I just do this. It's a dance style, isn't it? I'm showing my age, aren't I? Is that dabbing? Is that just sniffing your elbow? <laughs> assuming that they rap. Do you fellas do you rap? Well these chips are about to be eaten by the uncoolest chick in Australia so welcome. Have a look. So they are a thin style potato chip. Oh that's a decent size isn't it? Oh yum! Oh! It's very sour creamish. They're quite strongly flavoured and they have a little bit of a sweet aftertaste. Can I taste ranch? A little bit. Not a lot though. But they're really crispy. They're a little bit salty. Yum. Oh no, Lottie Koalas. I've tried these so many times, it's unbelievable. They're little cookies, they're flavoured with different stuff and they have a squishy filling on the inside, just like real koalas, really. I have had so many koalas over my time. I don't eat koalas, just... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to horrify some of you that live overseas. But I have actually tried these, so I won't be trying these today. You've got no idea how far they rolled out of the room. <laughs> Milka Chips Ahoy. Oh, wow, this is a decent sized block of chocolate too. Wow. It's a little bit melted, but yum, yum, yum. Break it open and have a look inside. Oh, yes. The milk chocolate is smooth and creamy and then it's got these delicious cookies inside here. What I like about this too is that usually when you like cookies and cream, it's always just white, white chocolate. But this is good if you love cookies and you love your milk chocolate. Yum, yum. Love it. Oh gosh. So you know how much I love this one because I accidentally went back for another piece and I usually deliberately don't try to eat too much of one thing when I'm taste testing because otherwise then I get full by the end of the video. Oh, these are Sante cardamom cashews. It's got an interesting saying on the front here. Celebrate life every day. Well, I do. Celebrate life every day. What, by eating cashews? They're sweet and velvety. Oh, that's an interesting description for nuts, isn't it? Uh, oh. <laughs> and it says with an exotic accent. It's getting more and more saucy by the minute, isn't it? Who doesn't love an exotic accent? Hello. nice. Not as exotic as I thought they were going to be. The cardamom spice flavour is very mild on it. It's not as strong as I was expecting. I do love cashews though and I do love that slightly sweet coating on the outside there. It's not particularly strong but they are delicious. These are Mentos Poppins and I've tried these ones before. Probably in a munch pack I think. I don't know what country these are from. I think last time I asked and someone told me and I've already forgotten because that's how it is with me. And it's got the different flavours on the back there. They've actually got them in English. It's a sticker over the top there. Do you remember this with the haunted cover on it? There's some serious weirdness going on in the images here. Is that a dead Elvis on the front? A lot of things on the cover here are haunted or dead because kids love that. Oh. Something weird here. What's this? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Bug tape. This cannot seriously have bugs on it, can it? To me, that looks like a toy. It looks like it shouldn't be eaten. I'm about to eat it, though. Lucky me. Candy bug filled gummy tape. Kids would love this, wouldn't they? I don't. <laughs> but it might be tasty. Oh, look at the little tinny comes in. Oh, <gasps> should this be eaten? Should this be eaten? Uh. <gasps> oh, oh, the horror. <gasps> wow. So it looks like little dead flies and stuff on it, but it's actually pretty cool. Look at that, it's a centipede bit. Oh, seriously, you don't have to be a kid to enjoy this, I don't think. Oh, goodness. Hmm. 
These are the tastiest bugs I've ever eaten. And I've eaten a few in my time, by accident mainly. Well, mainly, what am I saying? <laughs> Actually really flavoursome. The gummy candy is quite nice. It's like a lemon lime sort of flavour to it. I love this. It's super fun and it's actually a pretty good tasting gummy candy. Oh, onto something really boring. This is tea verde. Actually not in the mood for green tea today, but I'm gonna have it just for you. Uh, you probably don't even want to see me open the box and show you tea bags, but here it is. Did you look, didn't you? Oh, that looks like a lady's product. It's very pretty packaging. Hello, green tea. Got myself a fancy cup to put it into because I want you to all think I'm fancy. Oh, wow, this is an exciting video, isn't it? How long should I dangle it? I've asked that question a few times in my life. Cheers. Yes. Hmm. Actually, it's quite nice and refreshing. I wasn't looking forward to it, but now I'm enjoying it. It kind of cleanses the palate. Um, oh, it burnt me. It's a really nice subtle green tea. Really refreshes the palate. I like it. Milk chocolate cream sticks. I've had a lot of pocky sticks over my time. I don't think these are going to be very much different. But what is fun about this one is that it has Pac-Man on the front. It says it's got cream and milk chocolate layers inside, so that's pretty exciting. Oh no, they're stuck together. Come on out. Uh, oh, far out almost. That's good though, because you can see the inside of it. See, that's how you embrace life every day, everyone. You find the positive in something really odd and strange. I'm going to bring them all out together because they're stuck together like this. Mmm. I love the combination of the biscuit cookie with the chocolate because that chocolate is really beautiful. It's smooth and delicious. Yum. These are nicer than I thought they were going to be. I love it when that happens. Oh, see, I sticked on the floor. I can't say that. All right, I'll try. Pacheo. Gummy and soft candy and it's strawberry flavor. Okay, so they're individually wrapped. Oh, look at the color of that. I've actually had these ones before. Have I had this flavor? I don't remember, but I feel like eating this today. dish before. Oh, oh! There's a fight in textures going on in here. Because there's gummy candies within this chewy candy. So it's like this battle of different textures. Individually, I would love both of these things. I love the flavor of it. I love the gummy candy in it. I love the chew. I just don't want them to be living in the same thing together. I don't like that. I'm not embracing that. But it's very pretty to look at. I think that some people would love the concept of this because it's something a little bit different. Nestle Nesquik wafer bar. And I have actually had one of these before, so I won't be trying it today. Oh, that's beautiful. Stop it, it's beautiful. It's like a piece of art. You can put that on a t-shirt if you were a hippie. These are from Tomahawk Chips. They're ketchup flavor. Have a look. Are they red? What's the color of them? They've got like a pinky tinge to them. they're pretty good. It's still got that tomato taste in it but it's not really sweet tasting which sometimes the tomato potato chips do taste sweet to me. It's got the right amount of saltiness in it. They're really thin and crispy. I like them. Both of these are really nice and it's good to see some smaller company making potato chips. Yum. They tell a story. People are dabbing and mother earthing their chips. My story is I sit on the lounge and I just eat potato chips. So one thing left in the box and it's this which is Oh, get out. It's sweet and sour. Licorice. So they're beautiful bright colours as you can see there. And these are made by Finney. They're mini collisions, which usually you try to avoid collisions. Uh-oh. I'm going to put some out of my hand so you can have a better look at them. Um, and then that way I can get a sticky hand. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Beautiful. To me, I don't really think that's proper licorice. But anyway, let's try this green and yellow one. Oh, 
I don't know. It's it's a bit weird tasting to me. It's a collision. It's very sweet. It's got an apple taste and then the middle part in there is a different texture than the outside bit. Outside's like a gummy bit and then inside just sweet horror to me. It's so stinking sweet. It's ridiculous. Look at this one. How pretty is that? It's very interesting. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm hoping I can pull this apart. I can't. It just makes you want to pull it apart. No. Nah. I want to play with my food and it won't let me. Mm, oh. Half of me wants to like it and the other half just goes, no, it's not edible. It says it's sweet and sour, but I just mainly just taste sweet. Let's try this pretty yellow one. Yeah. The middle of this one actually reminds me of musk sticks, which they don't have all around the world. Inside, it's got like a more... Oh gosh, I don't know what that is. It's like a... Okay, here goes the worst description in the world. You ready for it? It's like powdered candy that's been wet and smooshed up together and shoved inside a candy. There are better food reviewers out there, I know. <laughs> one in here which you didn't get to see. That's like a rainbow. I don't want to eat it though. <laughs> if you want to check out Munch Pat's website I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching everyone and remember if you want to support me and my channel remember to share this video, give it the thumbs up and subscribe for more. Have a great week. Bye.